Hey everybody. Well, problem four on the midterm is going to ask us about comparing two companies or two products, and we were doing that in Excel. So here's just a quick refresher about what we did. In Excel, you're going to download that file from my website, and then we just want to find out how the data, for example, product A compares to product B, how their growth compares. So we're going to highlight the data. We're going to choose month to be our X value, which drives revenue, or month is our independent variable, and revenue is our dependent variable. And we're going to highlight the data, and I'm running Excel on a Mac, so on a Windows PC, you're going to see a little bit of a difference. I think here you might choose Insert, but I just have a Chart button, so you might choose Insert Chart. And you're going to choose a scatter plot and a marked scatter. When you do that, you've got your graph. They'll just move out of the way. And what I'll do now is just make sure that the chart is selected. And under chart layout, we see that there is an option called trend line. And under trend line, I'll select linear trend line. So it gives me the linear trend line, and I'll go back now to get the equation. Trend line, trend line options. Under trend line options, there's another selection, options. And then I'll just select display equation on chart. You can even display the R squared value if you want, but it's not critical in us finding the value that we're looking for, the intersection point. So I'll click OK. And so here I've got this equation that I'll just set off to the side. And now in for the second product, I'll highlight that data. And again, I'll go to charts and I'll select scatter and mark scatter. And now with the chart selected, You can do the same thing as before, but I'll show you another option. Here under Chart Quick Layouts, uh, it might look a little bit different on yours, but I'm looking for Layout 9, which right here, if I ho hover the arrow from my mouse above, or above this icon, it tells me it's Layout 9, and it's hard to see, but there's a small function notation right there that says F of X. So I'll select that, and it basically does everything for me. It just formats the chart a little bit differently so if you're looking to include this in some sort of presentation at some point in time you might want to select a different a different layout but now what I can do with these is I can uh, solve the system so what we're looking to do is we're looking to compare the line from product A and this line represented by this equation is representing the growth of that product so this equation is basically telling us where it was in the past and hopefully helping us to forecast the future. And same thing with, uh, with product B. So you can go to my website and under Econ 220 there's free online graphing calculator that uh, one of you discovered, metacalculator.com. We'll select graphing calculator and one way that you can solve this in equations is to input those equations. So we're looking for a 4.1159, then we'll select X, and then plus 23 point, I want to make sure I get this right, 23.581. And we'll do the second equation as well. Sorry if this makes you dizzy. So we got 6.9953X, and then minus it's 323.34 and we'll graph those so as you can see I can only find one graph but I'm not really looking for this to be pretty so I'm just gonna zoom out I'll, I won't worry about the window settings or the bounds that I can specify but I do have an intersection point right here so I'll click intersection and it asks me which equations I want. Well, there's only two. So I'll plot those points of intersection. And it gives me 120.48 and 
Okay. So some of you asked me if you would report the answer exactly like this in those decimals, or would it be an ordered pair? And you have to think about the context in which you're finding the answer. What is 120.48? Well, that is our x value, and that x value was months. So I wouldn't tell someone that in 120 months from when product A launched, it will get caught by product B, which launched 49 months later. We would do it in terms of years. So, you know, we might say that 120 divide or 120.48 divided by 12 is 10.04 years. And remember, that's 10 years from product A, not from product B. Product B would be 120 months minus 50, which is a, you know, you can give me either answer. And then this number, 519.47, well, that is Y, which is revenue in thousands of dollars. So I wouldn't tell someone it is $519.47 thousand dollars, but rather I would express that as $519,470. And that is the revenue that both product A and product B will make in the 120th month, or just after 10 years from the beginning of product A. So hopefully that helps. If you guys have any questions, please feel free to, um, to email me. Take care.